Procedural programming is a programming paradigm derived from structured programming based upon the concept of the procedural call. I mean, I don't... Lucky for us, the definition of procedural generation is a lot simpler. In computer graphics and video games, graphical content is usually generated manually. That means that there's a guy who has to model that gun that your character's holding. There's also a guy that has to create that guy that you're playing as. Or girl, don't get mad at me. Actually, there's usually a series of guys that create these things, but let's not complicate things. If something's procedurally generated, it means that a computer created it. So concept artists and modelers create a bunch of assets that fit well together. Then programmers create an algorithm to somewhat randomly place these assets together. In early games, this helped greatly with memory constraints. Wikipedia, the most reliable source of information on the planet, said the first case of this in a game might be Akalabeth, which was created in 1980, and it made the players input a lucky number, which it then used to create the whole rest of the game, including dungeons and player stats. One of the best examples of this is Borderlands, which is much more recent and probably helped popularize the term procedurally generated. Borderlands claimed it had millions of different weapons available, and it did. How would all of those assets fit on a 360 disc, you may ask? Well, if you were paying attention, you'd know that they aren't all on the disc, they're created using an algorithm, you f***ing idiot. Destiny has a similar system to Borderlands, but the guns aren't really procedurally generated. There are tons of guns available, but they all pretty much have the same look, but with different paint jobs. The gun stats are generated using an algorithm, but the term procedural generation is usually only used for graphics and 3D objects and stuff. I mean, it's still pretty awesome, but it's not as cool sounding as the gun system in Borderlands. But here's something that's cooler than both of those. No Man's Sky has a procedurally generated universe. All of the planets and the things on those planets are created using an algorithm. So you leave a planet, enter its orbit, end up in space. The computer generates a bunch of other random worlds into your line of sight. You pick one you want to go to, you enter its orbit, and then you land on the planet. No loading times. You could just go on through space forever if you wanted to. And everybody who plays this game will have a different experience. That's procedural generation at its finest. Pretty similar to Akalabeth. Akalabeth? Akalabeth. I got it right. Quick mention, Minecraft has a procedurally generated environment that's pretty simple. You can walk seemingly forever and the computer will just keep generating landscapes. A YouTube channel known as Farlands or Bust has been searching for the end of the game for a very, very long time. Apparently in an old beta of Minecraft, when you reach a certain point, the landscape gets all distorted and weird. It's said to take 820 hours to reach this part in Minecraft, known as the Farlands. This guy is very devoted to making it all the way without using any mods or hacks or anything. I wish I was that devoted towards anything. What do you guys think? Did this video help? Do you have any questions? Because I'm not sure I'm qualified to answer any, but I'd love to try to help. Leave it in the comments below, at me on Twitter, like us on Facebook. Most importantly, share this with your friends. Thank you very much. Have a good week. Well, what do you know about League of Legends? Uh, League of Legends, I know, is apparently the biggest game on the planet that isn't Minecraft. Um, the championship, like, tournament that was, like, played on ESPN and online apparently had more viewers than an NHL match, like, normally does. That's not fair. I mean, <laughs> you guys probably get more than an NHL match. That's true, well, yeah. What are you doing? James, you! You were right next to me, you weren't even reviving me! What do you mean, what happened? Were you not paying? You were not paying attention, were you? You were on your goddamn computer. They knew we're here. I'll I get to work. I don't know my computer. I was on my phone. Okay. James, are you?